Today I'll be showing you how to make this really delicious turkey meatloaf with some vegetables. For this meatloaf you're going to need ground turkey, a little bit of brown sugar, mustard, ketchup, green onions, uh, cracker crumbs or breadcrumbs, and a seasoning. The equipment you're going to need is two mixing bowls, a cookie sheet or a loaf pan, a mixing spoon, and a knife or kitchen scissors. We're going to start with making our glaze for the meatloaf. You're going to take ketchup, spicy Dijon mustard, and brown sugar and mix them together in a bowl. It takes about two parts ketchup to one part mustard, and you're also going to add ground pepper, salt, and garlic salt if you prefer. Along with the brown sugar, some people will add a dash of soy sauce or barbecue sauce. When you bake your turkey meatloaf, this glaze will go over the top and keep your meat from drying out and give it a nice flavor. Now we're ready to start assembling our meatloaf. You're going to need a lean turkey, and you're going to add breadcrumbs. In this case, I'm using panko breadcrumbs. And you're going to add your seasonings. You can either get a pre-made mix, or you can add salt, pepper, garlic, oregano, paprika, uh, spicy chili powder. I'm also adding chopped green onions to mine. You can use chopped white onions, or you can add parsley or basil. Now, just like you're making a big meatball, you're going to mix all your ingredients together. Um, if they're not sticking together well enough, you can add an egg. Now we're going to use a cookie sheet or a loaf tin to form our meat into a loaf shape. It's a rectangle that's a few inches wide, so it cooks evenly. Then we're going to add our glaze on top and bake our meatloaf for 20 to 30 minutes at a 375 degree oven. Your oven temperature may vary, so you are looking for a firm texture that holds together and is juicy and does not fall apart or crumble. Using ground turkey is a great way to make this classic comfort food slightly more healthy. I like to serve my meatloaf with vegetables, so I take French style green beans and saute them for a few minutes. French green beans can be eaten raw or cooked, so be sure not to overcook them. Saute them for about five minutes in butter or olive oil with salt, pepper, and garlic. For a bit of sweetness and variety, I like to add some diced cherry tomatoes and cook them for about two minutes with my green beans. I leave the ingredients list and the nutritional information.